Hi, this is Zach OX again, and today we're going to go over loops, uh, declaring arrays, the static and dynamic, and then I'm going to go over a little bit about what the one-dimensional and two-dimensional is, and I'm going to try to quickly do this. Um, we already have a standard EOX, so EXX, EXE open, excuse me. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and go to view code right here, and I'm going to show you how to do some declaring again. Uh, option explicit and we're going to click on this uh, tab this uh, command box up here excuse me combo box so we'll go to form so we'll start a form load statement procedure whatever sometimes I cannot name what they are exactly but as long as I can program it it doesn't matter um, so first we're going to go here ahead and declare the statements above and then we're going to announce them so we're going to go declare excuse me I'm a little bit out of whack right now um, so let's go ahead and start with private and then what are we going to name this with the prefix a string um, let's go name and then we're going to for now this is what you call static is we know how many elements we're gonna have if we didn't know then it would be dynamic and that will be next um, so let's say we know we need 10 names you can do like I said earlier 9 which would be 0 to uh, 9 which would be 10 names or you could declare 1 to 10 and that would be 10 names and you can also use negative values so if you wanted negative 4 to let's say whatever um, six you could actually do that um, so we're gonna go ahead and have one to ten as string okay and announce a string name one will have M yes these are not names but I'm just quickly doing this glorious thing about copy and paste it doesn't matter if we have the same name um, but you'd probably want to get last names if you wanted to have a person different person you don't want the same person um, so now we have declared all the elements in the array let me go ahead and maximize this real quick. Okay, so now let's loop through it. Um, what we could do here is do a declare dim int next number is integer. A lot of programmers that use i right here or in for number. Um, I always put next number because then I know it means a cycle. Let's go use a loop. Now here's how you'd lose, use a for loop. Um, I'll be showing other loops later, but for now, uh, if you want to cycle through these, you would use for, and then your variable, which is the number that you're going to say from where to where, equals um, 1 to 10 next. Now that would be a loop, and you'd put your code in here. So we could have, and then, um, what you don't know what element this is other than the int at next number um, what's going to happen here is this this is going to be equal to one and then it's going to do whatever in code go next this is going to be equal to two do whatever in code go next so um, what we're going to have here is we're going to have one then two then three then four but we don't have to write that we just write int next number because we already know it's going to be equal to 1 up here, it comes through this cycle, and then goes to next and repeats to 2. So then we just put equals m. What that means, or we could say Mike, um, is now that all those elements, when this is finished, um, is going to equal Mike. So all these are going to be Mike instead of what those were before. Um, you could put anything else in here, maybe you want a message box previously what it was. 
so we could have a message box um, and that would message box the first one before it changes it to Mike and the second one then the third and, and so on um, now if you have a raise which you can do if you don't want to write that out maybe it's something really long or you want a program to understand why you're doing 1 through 10 you could write the array um, and I believe it's low bound with, with uh, parentheses here to u bound what that means is from the lowest number which is going to find 1 to the highest number 10 and you could subtract numbers here too or add numbers let's say you didn't want the first one you want the second one and you could put plus one and that would start at element two here um, and then all those after element one would be Mike so this first one would be M but then Mike after all of those and that's just a real quick uh, doing a for loop um, now let's go ahead and do uh, two-dimensional. This is where you'll have, let's say, a checkerboard, um, one, two, eight, or chessboard. 